Welcome to another report by the Veritas Project. Today we're discussing the most evil man in history, Ansel Keys and the War on Fats. Ansel Keys, the so-called pioneer of nutritional science, was once celebrated by the mainstream media, even landing on the cover of Time magazine in the 1960s. But today, we know the devastating truth. This man, through his distorted research and corrupted influence, has caused millions of people to suffer and even die by spreading outright lies about fat. Yes, the same fat that our bodies need for proper function. Thanks to him, millions of people were taught to fear fats, believing they were the cause of heart disease. This falsehood has fueled a global epidemic of obesity, diabetes and chronic illness. People were told that fats were the enemy, and yet grocery stores filled their shelves with products labeled low-fat or fat-free, tricking the masses into thinking these were healthier options. But guess what? These products were often loaded with sugar, the true culprit behind the heart disease epidemic and many other health issues. The truth is, natural fats are vital for a healthy life. The study that changed everything. And not for the better. Back in the 1950s, Ansel Keys conducted what he called the Seven Countries Study. It was meant to investigate the relationship between diet and heart disease. Now here's where things get dirty. Keyes had data from 22 countries at his disposal, but he deliberately chose to include only seven that fit his agenda. His goal was clear, blame fats for heart disease. He ignored countries like France and Switzerland, which had high fat diets and very low rates of heart disease. His infamous graph, which supposedly linked fat consumption to heart disease, was nothing but a fraudulent piece of work. He manipulated the data to fit his narrative, and the most outrageous part this faulty science was funded by none other than the sugar industry, the sugar lobby's dirty money. Here's where it gets even more corrupt. The Sugar Research Foundation, now cleverly rebranded as the Sugar Association, poured money into research that would pin the blame on fats instead of sugar. Documents from the 1960s revealed that the sugar industry paid off scientists to downplay the link between sugar and heart disease while shifting all the blame to dietary fat. A key figure in this scheme was John Hickson, a top executive in the sugar industry. He and his cronies paid off prestigious researchers, including those from Harvard University, to perpetuate the myth that fats were the enemy. For decades, this lie dominated public health policies and guidelines, all while the sugar industry raked in profits. John Yudkin, the scientist who was silenced, while Keyes was busy pushing his fat-blaming agenda, there was one man who saw the truth. Dr. John Yudkin, a British physiologist and professor of nutrition, was one of the few voices who stood up to the sugar industry's propaganda. In his 1972 book, Pure, White and Deadly, Yudkin boldly argued that sugar, not fat, was the primary cause of heart disease and obesity. But the sugar lobby and their bought-off scientists discredited Yudkin's work. They laughed at him, silenced him, and tarnished his reputation. Why? Because he dared to expose the truth that it wasn't fat but sugar that was wreaking havoc on public health. The 2016 revelation. Fast forward to 2016 and the real story finally broke. Documents uncovered by researchers at the University of California, San Francisco exposed the sugar industry's dark influence. These papers, dating back to the 1960s, revealed that the sugar industry had been deliberately paying off scientists to blame fats for heart disease while keeping sugar out of the spotlight. One of these scientists was Dr. Mark Hegstead of Harvard University, who helped write influential dietary guidelines that encouraged people to reduce fat intake and ignore the dangers of sugar. This manipulation of science caused catastrophic damage. For decades, people were warned to avoid fats, even though fats are essential for our bodies. Meanwhile, the consumption of sugar skyrocketed, contributing to today's epidemics of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. The real truth about fats. Despite the anti-fat rhetoric that dominated for years, the truth is that fats, especially natural saturated fats, are essential for good health. Our bodies need fat for energy, hormone production, and the absorption of key nutrients. 
There are also good fats like those found in olive oil, coconut oil, avocados and fatty fish, which offer numerous health benefits. Let's be clear, not all fats are created equal. While trans fats and processed oils should be avoided, natural sources of fat like butter, eggs and meat can be part of a healthy diet. The demonization of fats, thanks to Ansel Keys and the sugar industry's money-driven agenda, has left a legacy of poor health and confusion. The irony is, while people were avoiding fats, they were consuming more sugar, which is far more dangerous. Conclusion, don't fear fat, fear sugar. It's time to stop fearing fats and recognize the real threat to our health, sugar. The deception that began in the 1950s with Ansel Keys and was further propagated by the sugar industry has done untold damage to global public health. Fortunately, the truth is finally coming to light. Science now backs what Yudkin warned us about all those years ago, sugar is the true enemy. So the next time you're in the grocery store and you see products labeled low fat or fat free, remember that these labels don't necessarily mean healthy. Often these products are filled with sugar or other harmful additives. Instead, opt for whole natural foods, including their fats. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and share it. Also, subscribe at veritasproject.com for more thought-provoking content. Because you don't want to believe, you want to know. Thank you for watching. Until next time, be well.